You know what I think is wrong with, uh, well, not wrong, you think past wrong. You know what I think happened to the church? This is really where it started, you know. Uh, well, it's where the, the evidence started to pile up. It's when we hired all these, we changed the music. We hired, I think we changed the music. We didn't change the music, actually. The music was changed on us. I don't think anybody ever that supported the church or whatever come to Sunday one day and said, you know, I want to change, I want to change the way we worship out of hymnals and gospel. I want to change that to what praise and worship and do choruses out of simple little soft, easy to play songs where you don't have to keep time. You don't have to keep rhythm. You don't have to get in one mind, one chord, yada, 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 yada. And why do we do this? Well, an explosion of money and greed and power. See, we had all these, everybody wanted to be the next biggest, brightest, baddest. Had to have them, somebody on staff. Had to, and then, then where they pull from? They pulled from these young individuals, just fresh with the snappers out of college, no experience, didn't even know the traditionals. They all they do is they put you know, out a few lines and, and then pick out a few strums on the guitar. All of a sudden, they're worship leaders. They get in there and they can't lead it, you know. Or get on the piano, you know. Lay down. They couldn't even keep. They couldn't even play along with it. All right. So they're like, you're in the battle for the Lord and right. Keep on the fire and light. You must fight. Keep on the fire. Where did they come from? The battles that we all must face. The coward from the seventh will find no place. So keep on the fire and light. Oh, you must fight. Be brave. Come against all the evil. There it is. Even right behind. If you would win for me. You know, how they gonna play something? How they ain't gonna keep up with something like that? But you know who can't keep up with it? The worshipers. Is they coming to the fight the Lord has done. This what the Lord has done. That's my body, that's my mind. Laying outside of the gates and big arms of those who intervened. They came across the men named Peter and John the main. They man, speak them to me. This is silver and gold. Have I none but such a wide variety? Well, if you're with the man in the he said, Look what he's done to me. Won't you look what the Lord has done? Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body, he touched mine. He saved me just the time, oh, I'm going to free the land. He saved me just the same. One prayer to praise him. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. I was lost and bound by the chains of sin. I had no hope, no peace within. Oh, my sins were scarlet, but washed them out of snow and opened my blinded eyes. I hope my soul rejoice since I made it my choice. I can hope now and peace within. Our names been written in the last book of life. It was done to me. I mean, you can, you know, play it many versions, but anyway, long story short. This is. You can't, you can't, you know, go in there. You know, I mean, I can't get that. I can't get as real, really, I can't get as whitewashed as they can, you know. I don't even have, you know, it's just in me. When you come in there, long story short, you know, finish this up. That was pushed on every single, every, you know, during that time I was, uh, I guess I was about as churchy as Noah was Archie, you know, as uh, 
what was his name used to say? Uh, a little bit guy from Metropolitan Church of God. Uh, Curl Pepper, Raymond Curl Pepper. We was as churchy as Noah was Arky. <laughs> but anyway, we were kind of Arky too, you know. But that's what happened, I think. See what it done is it. It think back if you if you if you've been if you look back 30 years ago, and you was uh, a regular church attender, server worker. How many how many church, how many people did you see leave during that time? And what was it for? How many? How much was broken up? And then how many pastors stood beside it? Why? Because really, what they was doing is, see, the pastors was doing. They were implementing their strategy to put paid people up on them to build their stature. It was the only way the pride to get them up on the throne that they were trying to climb up on. And they sold out lot of long world. As the ones are really blank because the, the young little whippersnappers, they didn't really know no better. Because, you know, they, they, they really needed those, uh, the older and elders to, 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 to put them in place. Let's see, I was one of them little whippersnappers. I was a pastor at 26 years old, late senior pastor, 26 years old. I didn't have a member of my congregation that was under 60. And I was their pastor. Hmm. Crazy, huh? Very foolish. I had nothing to give those people. They had plenty to give to me. I didn't see it then. I see it now. But anyway, that's your lesson destroyed. You know. Keep on moving. Don't judge nobody. There ain't no judgment on this earth right now. That'll be a time appointed. Just do your best, like the boy tells. Do your best to do your duty to guide your country. Help other people and the other laws of the land. Really. Love God, love your neighbor. That's it. Subscribe.